Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing Thai criminal law, specifically extradition. Haven't done a lot of videos recently, uh, just kind of discussing Thai criminal law in the news. But uh, this one you know, came to my attention when reading the Bangkok Post. It's bangkokpost.com. Article is titled, Estonian Drug Suspect Arrested in Pattaya. And this is more to the issue of extradition. I'll get to this in a minute, but um, a lot of information in this article. I urge those who are watching this video, go check out that article if you want to understand the details of what was going on. But we're going to use this little excerpt to just discuss extradition here real quick. Quoting directly, he said the Interpol office in Estonia sent a letter dated February 1 asking Thai immigration police to arrest Mr. I'm going to redact names here, Mr. such and such. Quoting further, who is uh, wanted in Estonia for drug possession and named in an Interpol red notice issued on January 28th. Mr. so-and-so entered the country on November 10, 2017, and his entry visa expired on December 8th the same year. He was a long-time overstayer. Quite a bit going on in there, but specifically, and this is something to bear in mind, yeah, if, if Interpol issues a red notice uh, you, and, and, they, and they notify Thai immigration authorities, Thai authorities, yeah, immigration is probably going to be looking for that person and will probably go out of their way to apprehend them and send them back to the country that the red notice was issued on. And, and in this case, I don't even think extradition is necessary because this person is just going to be deported. Uh, they're, they're in overstay already. They're in violation of, of Thai immigration law. I'm going to do another video contemporaneously with this one going into that in detail. But long story short, for purposes of this video, yeah, it's not really even so much a matter of extradition per se where you go through the actual proceeding to be extradited. No, under this circumstance, we're talking about a situation where you know, you're basically just deported and sent out and at the behest of the requesting country and the Thai, you know, Thai law enforcement authorities, pretty quick to cooperate in such matters, especially in involving drug cases. And yeah, you'll, you'll very likely be sent back to wherever uh, that red notice was posted from.